G'day folks, welcome back to our Dens 44 and uh, we're up to turn two. Uh, I did move, oh that's right, it's an off map turn record track. So uh, I've moved the turn marker along and we can start the turn with the German player phase. They can flip over uh, uh, the appropriate number of German artillery units to their ready side. Now special rules are that on turn two, they can flip over six, I think it was. Uh, do, 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 artillery, uh, where is it? Turn one special rules, German artillery units. Uh, I'm sure I read, I'm sure I read that it is turn one special rules, German divisional batteries, uh, artillery, I'm sure it's six. I just can't find the rule. Artillery supply phase. On turn two only, they can flip over six artillery units. So let's get the important ones first. And this is going to be important out here. So I'll go one, two, three. Uh, less important there because I'm worried about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sounds good. Okay, artillery has been flipped. We can go to the fuel shortage phase. Um, not needed yet, skipped until turn seven. I can destroy or rebuild bridges. Um, so, uh, bridge repairs. Bridges may be rebuilt. Uh, it's a two part in the first friendly phase, the bridge is fit to, in the next friendly phase. If the two conditions are still met, which is basically um, both friendly sides, then the bridge is repaired. So that repair is completed, and that repair is complete. This is a Gmund and Dustberg bridges. Uh, just double checking. Um, Demolition, demolition, first day. No bridge blown, blowing is allowed on turns one and two, including the first night turn. Okay. Turns one and two, <laughs> including the first night turn. Okay. I must check the Urim bridge for collapse. So that is the bridge phase done. We now get to the movement phase. All non-engaged Germans may move. Um, yep, okay. Let's start in the south here. Um, <clears throat> and what do we want to do? Uh, okay, so not, don't, not bringing artillery in here. Um, this is a friendly supply edge, so I can kind of like zock bomb there like that, contain that unit, and then try and bring some force. I've got the 212th and the 276, so only two formations. So if I get, they're in a village, I believe, so there'd be four, and I can get eight, two to one there, which would be all right. And then if I can get 276, um, they'll attack move across there. They'll go down there, that'll be another two to one. Okay, so two to one, here, two to one there. Um, Got to be careful. Zock bond here that I can't move into. And this is this is what the allies have done. They've set up this defense here really well. So it's kind of hard to get across. Um, so river. The river. If I look at the terrain effects chart. Um, this is a ma minor river, attacker halved across. Okay, so it's really tough to get through there. I'm going to go tack move, tack move, tack move, uh, tack move. Just get some, actually I'm going to go tack move, tack move, just get units across the Ua River. Um, Going to inch them forward one, just get them closer. Likewise with these guys, get them closer. I can, sorry, in the bridge phase, I can rep start repair, right? 
I should have done that. Um, bridge is under repair because both hexes must be clear of enemy, occupied, clear of enemy zones control, yeah. So repair can be in there. Ah, but there's an enemy zone of control there. Uh, clear of enemy zones of control. So that's the zone of control. It is, I guess, it's engaged for supply, but not for this purpose. Repair can begin there, and that's the main ones in this area. Okay, so this this formation, they can't move turn one. It's <laughs> gone now. All right, I've got to remove all these markers. Uh, we'll get to them in a moment. Right, so they can now swing around and get across this bridge. So we'll go... Okay, this is an interesting terrain. This is the forest road, which cost uh, parentheses two. So it's one, two, three, four. Five, six. Um, okay, I'm going to. I've got a strap move marker. I could strap move them, but it's only a small unit. Um, so the Germans can either use their, their, their trucks for either prime moving, or if they flip it over, it becomes an extra strap move marker. Oops, flip that back to prime mover side. Um, so there's one for the 7th Army, two for the 5th Panzer Army, and two for the 6th Panzer Army. Okay, so I've got this infantry here. They're going to go tack move across the river, tack move up there. These guys, I can get in a good, a de probably a decent attack on there. They are in, they're in town, so it'll be a 10 of, of 9. Um, so I'm going to go tack move, tack move. Okay, where's their movement trail? So they're going to go, I think, one, two, three, in fact I might move in there, one along that forest road, yep, two into the clear, no sorry it's light woods, and then three along that road to there, which will let me get a good attack on Dekirk. All right. I'm going to clear these move markers so I, I know what's moved. Um, yeah, great. Did they move? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, no, I don't think they did. So they're going to go. Uh, let's think about this. They have they have moved, but they haven't. So this is a twenty six. Okay, so I've moved everything in the south. I'm looking here now at the 26th Volts Grenadier Division, Panzerlea. Panzerlea is going to try and use this road here. Um, Clovo is a town, so it has a defense of six. So I'd like to, to capture that. I didn't, didn't get my artillery in this area. I'm going to start removing these before I do anything. I'm going to remove these markers just so I can see. These guys can only, I'm going to leave these on then because these guys can only tack move. Um, all right. I think I kind of want to go through here. So through Weiss, Weiss Wempuck. They've got defense of four. Uh, be one to the left because of their disrupted status. Um, so it's still, it's still a decent defence. Um, yeah, disrupted. Uh, has a Zoc but can't form a Zoc bond. How am I going to get through this area? 
Do I just ignore Clairvaux for the moment and come through here? That's a pretty, that's a pretty, that's a defense of four as well. They're in a little village. American defense is decent. Um, all right, these guys, 26. Let's get them to come through this area here. It's slow. Um, they can use strategic move. I don't, I've gotten very limited in German strat move. So I need to be, um, need to be careful which ones I use. I think. Um, oh no, hold on. The number of units is strictly limited to the number of markers. Six for the German, 10 for the Allies, yes. So there are six markers here. This is how many strap moves they can make. Do I, don't really, I don't really need to use my prime movers right now, particularly for the fifth army, but do I? Yeah, so I'm gonna forego one of their prime movers. Um, I might also forego some 5th Panzer Army Prime Movers. Not worry about the artillery for now. Um, to get Panzer Lair or the 2nd Panzer, they, they can come up and attack. But Panzer Lear here, they can follow this road and get into this area over here. Um, so let's see what we can do here. We can go, and again, keep in mind this is a forest road, so that's expensive. Might be better to get on this road here, go one, two, uh, and then it's a half, three, four, ugh, six. Oh, I go one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, this doubles their movement. It doubles, um, strap move doubles the movement for um, mech units, I believe. Double their MA, yeah. So I can get this sort of reconnaissance Kampf Groove Kunkel to go four, five, and a half, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, to eleven, they'd have to stop there. And it's not really that far, is it? I think I'm better off sticking to the primary roads and trying to clear out Vice Van Park and the crossroads. This is tough. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna get, oh geez, there's a traffic marker. So I'll go through here and then I hit that traffic marker straight away. <laughs> um, okay, what else have I got? And I've got to remember the distinction. So rough wooded mech units can move through it's a real puzzle. This is what I love about this game, is the puzzle of movement. There are options. I could drive south. I can take 26 and drive them south towards Dekirk and help clear out Dekirk, Edelbrook, get across there, and then shift west along that primary road. Um, that's very open at the moment, but there will, be, there will be reinforcements coming from the south, I'm sure. Yeah, they come in AB, which is just there. Um, so I could do that, I could take the 26 and shift them south, given the barriers around Clairvaux and Skyline Drive. Uh, and the Dustberg Bridge, Koss, and everything else. I can try and clear out as much of this area, but there's still three battalions, three American battalions. I know they're disrupted, but they are still a barrier. And they've still got a decent defense strength. Um, Got to get across this bridge. Got to try to get across it. It might blow up in my face. Got to try and clear out here. I think this is going to be my main focus. If I can clear out here, I I like my chances of you know, getting to some be early. Wow. It's only the first afternoon. No, to, no, no need to panic just yet. But I do want to clear out some roads, make some progress. Um. <laughs> 
Look, I can bring second panzer north just to really smash through there. Uh, as I said, this is I can tack move with this unit into there, right? Because they're not a vehicle unit, they are a mechanized but not vehicles, so they can tack move across that minor river hex side. Okay, so they can go there, they've moved, they've got a move marker on them and they must stop. These guys, the infantry, they could also try and do something similar. They can try and tack move there, and then have to stop there. And this is the 560th and the 102nd, but now I've got the second Panzer mixed up in here as well. I kind of want to pull these guys away, but uh, I don't know how they end up there, but okay. Uh, I can't, I've got three different formations here, so I'd need to, is there another 560th? So I can push them forward so that the, that formation can attach itself to the 560th, and then I've got two formations there. So I'll do that. Um, 62nd, really want to clear out this area. I might get these guys to attack there again. Defense of four. They've got defense of four. I've got 12. Um, yeah, good strength there. Maybe I'll just try and slip past these guys. So I'll tack move into there. Um, defense of six there. Let's get the 116th. Let's get these elements up into there. So I'll at least get two to one. I can bring in the artillery here. Um, yep. At least pans are there behind the lines here. Where am I going to go take them? Where do I focus? One, two, three. I can get into there. So this infantry here can go one, two, three. I can get an attack on Claveau. Defense of six. I'd want at least 12 factors. I can get that easily. So I can shift across. Um, I can shift across to there. I don't think I'll bother with an attack there because that'll be uh, one to one, shift up to two to one, but it's not great. Whereas if I can clear Clovo early, if I can clear it early, one, two, three, these guys can tack move to there. That gives me 15. If I can just get one more, tack move, tack move. They can tack move, this is mechanized. They can tack move in. They must start adjacent. They must start adjacent. I would love to get one more unit. Can these guys make it? Uh, four. Uh, it's one step, so four, five, six, seven. Damn, four, five, six, seven. Yes, they can. That then gives me the extra shift. And I'll get an attack on Clovo. Okay, these guys now, um, so it'll be one plus six is seven, seven just to move into Marnock. Wow, or I can, there's not many other options. Um, okay, so maybe this is where, no, there's no other options. They made us move. Uh, <laughs> Wow, where do they go? Uh, oh, I can bypass it and go here. Do I want to send... Where am I sending second panzer? Four and a half? Oh, that's going to be three to move in these light woods here. Um, crikey, there's just no easy... Easy route. Okay, these guys, we've got uh, 116th Panzer. I can tack move them up. I can move this tank. Um, oh, vehicle units are prohibited. They're not allowed to move into the forest unless they're following a road. So, where did they come from? They came from there. So maybe they'll move up there. 
vehicle units aren't allowed in forests unless on roads. And that's as... I don't know how they got there, sorry. Um, these guys. Tack move, tack move. Because they've got nothing really else to do. 26. You can see where they are going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And let's send Panzerli through here. So they're going to go uh, slowest unit first. One, two, it's, it's hard to see the terrain. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that's one strat move marker. No, ten. They've got to stop there. That's one uh, strat move marker, just because they're a slow moving uh, formation. Uh, these guys, one, two, three, four, five, six. They'll stay there. Uh, I don't think there's any other options for doing this more efficiently, is there? Um, one, two, three, four, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Wow. I'm going to stop those guys short, bring them to keep the formation together. One, two, three, four, five, six. They don't get far. Yep. Okay, so Pensley crossing the Ur River. That's about all they can do. Um. Oh, I should bring these guys on. And they come in down at K, somewhere in K. Okay. All right. Um. They're going to cross. <laughs> they're going to cross. They're going to cross the Dustberg Bridge. There we go. Five movement points. Four and a half movement points just to get to there. And they'll stop. They'll nudge up. Um, and they're done. We'll nudge our Nebelwerfers forward. They can still fire. Um, this infantry can uh, uh, not Zockbond. Um, they can nudge to the right a bit. They'll hang there. They'll hang around here. Infantry and armor. Okay, they're gonna try and... Um, uh, okay, so I no, cannot cross that boundary. Let's see. Uh, it's an army boundary. And I don't know where the rules for that are, but Army boundaries, I'm sure it's uh, 11.10. Okay. You cannot cross the line at all. You can attack across but not cross it. That's annoying. So I'm going to have to go. I can go one. I can just go tack move into the forest there. And then I can go this, bring these guys up. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, no, that's not three, that's, um, yeah, forest road, three for infantry. Um, this unit here, which I'll hold, I guess, for now. Okay. We'll try and get an attack on here. These guys can now move. But they don't have anywhere great to move to. Um, one, two, three, four into there and get some big attacks 
going. Um, these guys will um, maybe shift to the right. So I'm going to tack move into here, tack move across to leave room for some of these SS formations. So you go one, two, and try and, this is the Lossheim gap, try and get through there. Then I've got this reconnaissance unit. They're going to go one, two, three, four, uh, four. These guys can go a bit further. One, two, three, four, five, because they're free stacking silhouetted unit. Um, all right, 12th SS down here. Good luck with these guys. Maybe try and push through this terrain here. So um, if I can, oh, hold on a sec. Have I double stacked? No, nope, they're okay. They're all legal. Three legal stacking. That's all good. I thought I cheated somewhere. I'm going to tack move, tack move. I'm remove this because I know they'll be able to move. I'll move two hexes, not move on turn one. That's okay. All right. And they can tack move, but I'll leave those on because these are the guys that that, tack, that can tack move. All right, so I want to create some space for the 12th SS, but where? I think through this gap here, if I can try and consolidate, focus. So if I tack move across, tack move across, and then push these formations in and attack here and try and get through here towards Rosharath Krinkkelt. Um, this is a silhouetted unit, so it can go into there and stack freely. Then I can bring on, ah, so these are, these are doubled when attacking towns and villages. So they can come on at K and go one, again, free stacking, but where? Maybe here. Nope, can't go there, because that's a uh, one, two, three. Ah, it's, yep, that's illegal. Maybe bring them up here. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five. There we go, nice. Um, they won't be able to move in there, but they can get an attack. They'll be half strength, so one. Okay, they'll add one to it, but they'll move towards some bit. Then we've got these guys. Now they can try to sneak through and ignore. This is um, the 150th, 150th, sorry, Panzer Brigade. Uh, they're a special unit. I'm sure many of you know about this formation. They can try to ignore an enemy zone of control. Um, the player may use this unit to infiltrate. So, they can attempt to ignore enemy zones of control. Resolve the attempt by rolling the die They attempt the moment they attempt to ignore an EZOC. Recognize. Okay, so. Before I move these guys up, oops, oh, I want to undo that, sorry. Where's the movement trail? They came from here. I want to try and sneak through these guys through this gap. They're going to go one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four, five and a half. No, you know what? I'm going to keep them behind, the, I'm going to keep them right here, and next turn they're going to try and sneak through. Right, so I'm making maximum use of of that rule rather than just plonking them down somewhere to do nothing. I've got this formation. Um, if I can find a decent road for them to jump onto, they can go one, two, three, four, and a half. They'll come up here. I think. Actually, you know what? They can go straight in here. And join this attack here. It won't help all that much because they're defensive. It won't add anything actually, but um, they can exploit through there, potentially. I think. All right. And up in the north, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to hold these positions. Got a Zokbon across here, Zokbon through here. Initial attacks did not go well, so I'm not going to push any further. Uh, that's movement done. So we now move to the German uh, rally phase. They do rally first. Disrupted or broken, there are none. Oh, did I use, okay, so I've still got strap movement. Um, so I might, I might use it on these guys. 
So where did they come from? I'm sure they went further. Look, let's go, let's double the movement of these guys. Um, big, big, uh, yep, them. And you get another six movement points. So one, two, three, four, five, Uh, and I'll stop there. Now let's, let's uh, I can't really do much with my prime movers. Um, I've used the seventh, I've got, okay, let's get my artillery up and across, not those, these guys. They're gonna go one, two, uh, two, six, <laughs> seven, eight, and I'll move in there for eight and a half. So I think, um, <laughs> so the, the prime movers, um, I need to double check this. Require a prime mover marker. Okay. They have their MA increased to five. They may not use strategic movement. Okay, so okay, where'd they come from? Movement trail, they've gone here. So that's not a good unit to move. Maybe what else? Maybe the vault's gonna do they did they just kind of like oh no. Um for core level artillery. Uh, so it can't even get onto here because it's too far. So I may as well flip that and use it for another strap move. We'll take these guys and they'll move another seven. One, two, three and a half, four and a half, five, six and a half, and they'll stop there. So they've used strap move as well. Same with the other one. Um, might as well get these guys to move another. Get these guys to move another six as well. One and a half, two and a half, three, four and a half, and they're going to stop there. Sorry, that dog has been a bit squeaky. Okay, so I've used those those prime movers as strap movement markers because they they can't do much else, um, and there's not really the scope for strap movement or prime movement in this area. So they're kind of wasted on this turn. Okay. Uh, and I haven't used night movement as well. That's one other thing to keep in mind. It's important to plan that on future turns. Ah, but there are special turn one rules in, and that is that one formation gets free night. Turn one special rules. Which one is it? Kampf Group Piper, the four units of the first SS. Uh, where are they? No, these guys, Kampf Group Piper, one, two, three. What am I missing? Uh, I've got a seven, there should be another seven somewhere. That unit there. Okay, so they'll be able to move in the night phase. If I can bust through here, that's going to be very important. Okay, there, now my movement is done. Okay, movement phase, rally phase, combat phase. I'm going to start in the south. No combat here, but we have combat here. We've got 212th combining for eight strength on four. So two to one. That's all we have. We'll roll a die. Two to one, two is a fire fight. I'm going to push it. So I'm going to roll the dice with, this is the lead unit. That's an A1 engage result. Okay, so lose a step and engaged. I should have just taken the engaged. Over here, we have the 276th attacking with a strength of two to one. Um, just double checking. Yep, they're in village. So two to one with a die roll of five is an engaged result. 
No combat here, but an attack on Dekirk. Fifth Vulture Mega, helped with us by the 352nd. We have 14 on 10, so 2 to 1. 2 to 1, 1 is a DR2 result. DR2. DR2. I'm done with the reason I'm putting it is I'm thinking about making a determined defense here. Um, because this is an important city, and if I can just hold up the fifth Vulture Jaeger, then it'd really help. Okay, so um, I can cancel a regular advance by using the determined defense. I'm just going to double check this is a regular advance. DR2, they get a regular advance, so I can cancel that. A bonus advance cannot successfully result. So I roll the dice, so here's the determined defense table. Lead unit is neither green nor elite, but I subtract the DCB of my hex, which is three. So I roll the dice, subtract three. That's a zero, yes, and I get an exchange result. So I cancel the retreat and I force a step loss on one of the attackers. We'll take it from the 352nd. Um, yep. I'm pretty happy with that, I guess. They'll suffer a step loss. It is a limited advance. They can advance into the hex. It does, maybe that's worse, because it now opens Edelbrook, but we'll get some American reinforcements, hopefully getting down there pretty quick. Okay. Um, oh, recovery. Sorry. Should I have removed... Should I have removed... In the rally phase... I'm not sure when I removed the strap movement markers. I guess they're removed now. Go back to the holding box, go back to the holding box, holding box, holding box. Okay, combat on Claveau. I have got the 2nd and the 26th combining, so I've got 18 on 6, 3 to 1, no artillery. 3 to 1. No artillery. A roll of six is not great. It's an engaged result. Ah, oh, I was really hoping to break through there. A lot of results could have helped. And I get engaged. This is exactly what the Americans wanted. Um, over here, now I'm about to attack across the Uran Bridge. And when you attack across the Uran Bridge, the first time my attempt is made to move, attack, or advance across it, I roll a dice. I am attempting to attack across the bridge from here. I roll a die. It's a six. Which means the bridge remains intact and is considered a normal bridge. Good news for the Germans. I'm halved attacking out of here, so I've got five... Um, attacking across a bridge... Uh, river, attack a half, I don't think bridges really help. Um, they're good for movement, but not really for uh, negating the penalties of attacking across a river. Rivers, including the Muse, have it, an intact bridge allows a tank unit to gain an armor shift but does not cancel, so I can get the armor shift. So I've got um, two, uh, nine, it's vehicle units that aren't allowed. Yeah, vehicle units aren't allowed in the forest. Mech units are, so seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, okay. On 11 on 3, of course, the forest provides 1. Okay, so 11 on 3 is 3 to 1. 
I have got um, an armor shift. Four to one. I'm going to throw in some artillery to make it five to one. So five to one and a die roll of two. Should be pretty good. Five to one, two is a DR4 result. All right, and a bonus advance. DR4. So they are broken. They go one, two, three, four. And I get a bonus advance. What this means is now I can potentially, so I can cross the Iron Bridge. Um, <clears throat> Uh, bonus advance, I can go any direction, two hexes, one, two, one, two, and I can go one, two, bonus advance means I can make an attack. So I'm going to attack here because I've got eight, it would be either two to one, make it three to one, or four to one over here, no, because they're in... Uh, they're in light woods, which gives them a, a one. So it'd be two to one or two to one. I may as well attack Vice Vam Pack. Um, with two to one, going up to three to one. Armor makes it four to one. I think I still use armor shifts in breakthrough combat. Do I still use armor shifts in breakthrough combat? Let me check. Is all the same rules? Yep. So I've got now, so two to one, three to one because they're disrupted, four to one for my armor. Uh, any other modifiers? No, that's it. So four to one and a die roll of three is a DR2 result. One, two, because they're already disrupted. They are now broken, and I can advance after combat into there. All right. So we're across the Ur in strength. We've got the Urim Bridge, three key bridges, looking good. He's not blown. He's intact. <laughs> nice. All right. Now let's attack down here. And like I said, I'm half coming out of here, so that's three, but full strength along here. So 10, 13. Yeah, they'll be halved. 13, 14, 15, 16 on six is two to one, three to one. I have armor. Oh, it's in a forest. So armor in a forest, no armor shift is available. Uh, so I say three to one. I think it's just gonna be three to one. We'll see how we go. A three to one one is good. It's a DR three with a bonus advance. Um, DR three, do they wanna make a determined defense here? This might be another good place to make a determined defense with a minus two modifier. And oh, they're green though, so it'll be plus one. Um, I might make a determined defense because otherwise I'm worried they're going to get to my artillery. So we're going to make a determined defense roll. It's going to be minus two plus one for being green. So a net negative one to a one is a zero. So yes, they make a determined, they hold, they suffer a step loss. Uh, and they take a loss from the attackers. So they'll take out, uh, ooh, maybe take that. Yeah, take, uh, they've got big armor rating. So we'll take out that reconnaissance unit. They're eliminated. Wow, did not expect that. They hold. Now over here, I uh, want to clear this out. So we've got four, 12, on four, so three to one, four to one, 
four to one, six is not a good roll. It's a firefight plus one. Um, ugh, I've got green lead units, so it's gonna be a plus one. Uh, sorry, plus one, plus two. This is a firefight plus one, so plus two. Oh, it's a seven. It's an A1 result. And an engaged. Okay, this unit will have, this stack here will have a go here. It's gonna be one to one. No, they won't have a go, they'll just hold. Over here, they will have a go. I've got a big stack. I've got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12, they're halved. Oh, I'm halved attacking across the river as well, so crikey. It is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine on three is three to one. Um, three to one, I do have some armor. So three to one, four to one, no artillery. Four to one, five is an exchange result. We'll take it from the Fulton Jaeger. And then exchange result gives me a limited advance into the hex. Pass that traffic marker. All right. Now, this is important. We have got the first SS and the fifth Fulton Jaeger combining. The first SS unit here is halved because they can't move into there. So that's five, six, seven, 14 plus eight is 22 on four is five to one. I have armor, so it is, no, it's in the forest. So five to one, let's see how we go. Five to one, three is a DR3 result. DR3, um, They could make it a, no, they can't make a determined defense with a DR3, it's only a regular, it's a DR3, they're broken. One, two, three, back to bullion. And I get a bonus advance, I can go one along the road, uh, two, one, two, bonus road advance, right? Breakthrough, if I, I if I get the road bonus for making it follows the path of a road, it may decrease the advance rate by one. Yep. Uh, these guys can also advance two, one, two. They're not mechanized. These guys can go one, two, um, they'll stay there, I guess. They could go a third hex, but they'll stay there. This is good because these guys get that free knight movement. This formation here, and they can immediately come off the road here. All right, so now we've got an attack down here. We have got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 on four. So four to one, five to one. Armor isn't counted. So five to one, four is a DR2. Now this is a regular advance, so they can make a determined defense, which they will do. Minus two, they are green, so plus one. A net, uh, a net minus one to three, which is two. A delay, they lose one step. Okay, so combat eliminated, that's removed, and a limited advance because of that delay result. Um, now over here, we have got the 12th combining with the 12th SS, we've got eight, 19-11 on here, which is four. So I've got two to one, three to one. Oh yeah, three to one, hoping for our best. Three to one, five is going to be a firefight plus one. I'm gonna fight it. Um, and I'm going to set the tank as the lead unit. So it's a minus one dice roll. So firefight plus one, minus one is just a two, and it's a DR2 result. Now these guys cannot retreat. They are trapped by Zoc bonds, so they are eliminated. 
and that's gone as well. Uh, eliminating a firefight, what happens there? DR2, I think I get a regular advance, so that's one hex in any direction. Um, we'll send the infantry up here. These guys will follow the road, but they'll, one, two, three, yeah, they have to stop there. And this infantry will move up here to keep the pressure on. All right, doing well there. 12th SS, um, look, they'll attack on the flank here, because just kind of continue rolling up the flank. You've got 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 on four, five to one. Six to one, let's see what we get. Six to one, six is a firefight. Um, I'm just gonna take the engaged result. Um, firefight, or immediately roll again. Look, I might roll again, let's roll again. Let's use this tank unit as my lead. So I'll get a minus one, eh, yeah, minus one to my roll. A one is a D1 result, they're dead. Lucky. Now, that gives me then a breakthrough, not a breakthrough, sorry, a regular advance, D1. So I go one, two, following the road, three. They can go two hexes in any direction. They'll go one, two, and they'll move into there. One, and must stop. No, they don't have to stop, they will stop. So the first hex can be in an enemy zone of control, and you can continue moving beyond that. Um, enemy zones of control do not stop an advance, but no unit may advance from one enemy zone of control into another of the same enemy unit. Yep, that's fine. Over here, we've got three units set up to attack here. They only have defense though of five, so I could get two to one, three to one. Let's try it. Three to one, two is a DR2 result, and they will retreat to one, two. They will be marked, disrupted, and will advance. The West War does not benefit um, the Americans. All right, there's a good result, I think. Nothing going on up there. So, breakthrough on the PM turn. Start of a breakthrough. Breakthrough here, this is the most important one. The, the first SS, sorry, Camp Group Piper. Breaking through that left-hand side there. Um, through the Lossheim Gap. Things over here, not great. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked Clovo, but I've, I've done, made some damage here. Um, broken, broken, disrupted. They're gonna have to pull back. All right, so let's, let's that's combat done. Um, traffic marker phase. I can't play my grief marker yet. Uh, supply, I'm pretty confident everyone is in supply. There's nothing unusual happening, so. All good. Um, victory phase, let's not worry about that. And we get to the ally play turn. So the ally play can flip three artillery units over. I'll go one, and they haven't used any others, so there are some over here, these guys here. But they weren't used, so yeah, not a lot to worry about. Um, bridge phase, I can attempt to destroy Bridges, so I could, for example, destroy this bridge here. Uh, no, 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 no demolition on turns one and two. Right? I keep forgetting that rule. No bridge demolition on turns one or two. First day, yep. Nor on the night turn. So no demolition. The movement phase. American movement. What are we going to do? Um, these guys are engaged, and if they don't move, they're going to be trapped. So I'm going to try to disengage this unit. Um, they are not green, so it's just a die roll. A four means yes, but they're disrupted. Okay, let me double check this. 20. Okay, disengage the table. Uh, Oh, they do that during the combat phase. They disengage, but not do both. Is retreated one or two hexes by the owning player. 
So I'm going to retreat two, hex, uh, two hexes to here. And they are going to be no longer engaged, but disrupted. But I'm okay with that. Um, I'm almost tempted to do the same thing here. Oh, sorry, before I do that, let's get my replace, um, reinforcements. Where are they? Turn record track. All right, so I've got A, B, and B. So A or B, they can come on here, and they can come in here. So these guys can now go and fill this gap here. So I can go one, two, and a half. One, one and a half. Two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. No, no, no. One, two and a half, three, four and a half. Right, so Zoc bonds all through here once these guys recover disruption. They'll hold, they'll hold uh, <laughs> trouble up here, and I don't know what to do about that. I really don't know. Um, I don't know. I've got trouble in Ettlebrook. Um, I've got no units in this area. I could have brought that armor on. Maybe I do that. Okay, so instead I'm going to put them into Ettlebrook. One, two, three, four. And these guys are trying to, going to try and engage in the combat phase. All right. They'll hold, they'll hold. So holding these bridges, that's a much better idea, I think. And I'll just pull these guys back. Maybe just a hex or two, uh, maybe two hexes to here. It's getting a bit, I can break down these units. That might be the way to do it. Break down some units down here in the south. Break down these guys, maybe. Um, units may break down during the movement phase. You know, I haven't really done many breakdowns. Um, so, these guys, this is actually the unit, I think, or close to the unit, shown in the example. They lose a step. And they can break down a unit. Um, yep, they lose a step. And a remnant, armored remnant comes out. Where are my allied remnant? Uh, where are they all? Turn record track, no. Fuel dumps. I don't know what that is. Here's my eliminated units. Okay. Air unit holding box. I cannot see breakdown units and I don't know where they are. Turn record track, turn record track, they are not there. Um, not on the setup cards, they're not listed in reinforcements. They're not breakdown units. Um, here we go, breakdown, okay, right? Yes, so we get a remnant. And uh, let's call it remnant G. All right, so that's, that just gives me more sort of flexibility in this area. I'll probably, oh, I can't do much else. Um, so I'm gonna break down units. Um, before it moves, has to be done. Has enemy zones of control have no effect. And then I can move. So this unit now can go one, two, three, four, five, six. 
which enables this unit to be able to pull back to the book of forest and give me a nice good line. In fact, I can just hold there. I don't need to retreat. Good idea. Breaking down units. Yeah, I like it. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three into there to give me artillery, you know, capacity in this whole region. There, I'm a bit worried about this. So I'm going to go one, two, three and move that unit. Actually, you know what? This is a um, forest road. They can go one, two, three and move straight onto there and block that bridge crossing. These guys can hold, um, they might actually, yeah, they're gonna hold there in the town. Actually, yeah, they'll hold in the town. Things looking pretty strong for the, uh, you know, they're, they're being hit, but they're holding. Um, I'm actually tack move, tack move to hold Vilts, and these guys will tack move across to there to hold that. Um, They are holding nothing there. It's just an important road. <laughs> I could tack move up to the river. Um, all right, let's tack move across, tack move back. Um, tack move back. I think we'll just hold there. The light woods will give them plus one defense. It's not a lot. I could also move into Clevo to bolster that defense. Um, five, six, seven, eight defense. It'd be pretty strong. But I think I like the idea of just having some reserve battalion behind the line. So yeah, we'll leave it there. Looking pretty good. I've got depth out in this area. Uh, over here, you gotta get the artillery the heck out of the way. So that's one, two. Three, four, five. Um, now these guys, they're just going to be surrounded if they don't do anything. That's their job, right? 106. Oh, it's 106 can only, is it the entire 106 division? Um, oh, it's the second division. The two regiments of the second division. Uh, that's these guys over here, right? The two regiments, 1535, 1536, 15, yeah, that, they're very marked, okay. They cannot move, I thought these guys were an attack move, but I was wrong. Um, they are out of supply though, and the lack of supplies, where are the supply rules? Like supplies means they can only use tack movement. But let's do it. Let's try and get back to our lines. Um, uh, these guys are going to say tack move one. They're going to so we lose our defenses. One two. One two. Um, we'll hold there, engage there, I think we'll hold, look we're doing a really good job in holding up the 116th Panzer and the 62nd Volksgrenadier in this area. Um, that said, if I don't come back to St. V, um, yeah, so I'm going to forego those defences and go attack move across the river, no. Tack move, oh wow, okay, yeah, so I'm in trouble because these Germans can move straight down here and there's not a lot. So these guys are gonna go um, what are they gonna do? I've got Germans down here, I've got Germans over here and they're converging on St. Vith and I can't get my defenses into there. Uh, I've got nothing behind the line. Um, I've got no units that can make it. Uh, look, they can make it. This, this, this armoured... I could bring these guys across, but then it lets 1st SS have a clear road. 
Um, here we go. We've got these guys here as well. I think I need to shift these out to the left. So I'm going to bring, bring this formation. One, two, three. I'll give them a defensive four here. They're going to go one, two, three and hold St. Fifth. Um, and then I'm going to rely on these guys to try and hold somewhere. Put them back, maybe. Do I try and hold in this forest here? Uh, they're going to attack move back. Um, oh boy. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna <laughs> one thing at a time. Tanks here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we'll hold there. Um, they are not broken. They are fine. I'd like to get the infantry over just a bit further. Um, unfortunately, they only have one on these primary roads. Um, I'm worried about this area here. So one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I could bring them, uh, I don't know what I can do. Can't quite, get, I've got trucks. I can strap move, I can strap move to here, right? So this strap moved over there. Yeah, I can do that. I've got to use these trucks, I think. Um, they, they might hold right there. These guys can only move two hexes on turn two. They're gonna hold for now. They might hold as well, but I might just go tack move, tack move to try and get them out of here. They're done. They'll hold there. The artillery will just nudge to the left a bit. They'll hold there. So I'm holding in the north. And I've got nothing else behind the lines. So I was just saying, it looks really good over here. This is what I'm worried about. This, this um, first SS. I, I can see they can weave their way through. Um, so instead of... They're going to go one... They're going to go there. Just creating that Zoc... Um, yeah, zone control to stop the panzers from moving. Yeah, okay, it'll just slow them down, stop them exploiting with their night movement. A um, lot of reinforcements coming in the AM turn, just have to wait till then. Okay, that is it for the Allied Movement Phase. No improved positions they want to build. You've got to keep that in mind. Um, they rally now. So this is where these guys become disrupted. They recover. They can be deleted. Um, they recover. They go to bro uh, disrupted. They recover. And out here, they recover. So good recovery. Just giving a little bit of ground. And yeah, buying some time. So the rally phase is done. Uh, no combat. <laughs> no American combat. The traffic phase. Uh, so where'd my traffic marker go again? Here it is. Let's throw some traffic um, here. And here. And let's roll two dice and remove one and one. There it is. It's gone. And supply and surrender. So over here, these guys can actually draw supply. They are all now, one, two, three, they're all now in supply. 
One, two, no, these guys aren't. These guys can go one, two, three, four across there. Uh, one, two, three, they can actually draw supply. They can weave it to this road here. So they're in supply, they're in supply. Uh, even they're in supply. One, two, three, four. So all Americans are in supply. Yeah, no Americans cut off. Um, should have done more over here. I'm sure, it, look, it could still happen, but uh, yeah. I'm just looking at 150th. Uh, okay, victory check, nothing happening. So it is the end of turn two and folks, I will pause here. Um, so what are we looking at? We're coming up to a night turn and only these units here can move in this night turn. And the Americans have done well to block them. They can't go far. Um, they've got 15 factors. Um, I get some good combats off. They can really smash this armored unit here or come around one, two, three, four, five, and try and throw. Oh, they only get half attack on this because it's in a forest. Um, they could try and attack there as well. That would give them. Uh, breakthrough, that might be the way to go. Try and smash through there. Yes, they've got a defense of six. Six. But it's one to the left because of that disrupted. So if they're 15, they could probably get... Um, yeah, these guys could probably tack move up. They can get all the first SS. That'd be 15, 16, 17, 18. Three to one. Push up to four to one with armor. Five to one, get a really good attack if they can get on five to one, they've got a 50% chance of getting a bonus advance. And if they can get that, then they could go even further north. And the Americans, I don't think, would get much opportunity. That could be, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So that'll be coming up next. We're looking to see if the first SS can roll a one, two or three in their combat to smash through on their way to Malmedy across the Emblev. We'll see what happens. Around here, uh, things are like more of a slower grind. We've cleared Skyline Drive by the end of turn one, which is, you know, pretty good. Um, we're just keeping the pressure on, keeping the pressure on those broken units. Um, um, I'm just looking around here. We might try and come around here rather than going straight through Clairvaux. Uh, we've got reconnaissance. That's gonna to be tough getting across that. That'll be halved. So looking at, yeah, that could be bad combat. There's no other way around. Panzer Lamb might try and come up here. Ah, oh, we still haven't cleared Berg Um but this unit can now move up and beyond. So they can just go straight up here. One. Then motorized, I think it's two, three, four, five, six. They can get up to here. Infantry can join them. We can also, no, we can't reach St. Vith because of this unit here. Uh, these guys though, we've cleared Schonberg. Um, so we can drive north to, so this is a solid defense now. They've got defense of nine with the artillery in St. Vith. So they can't really take it straight away. Um, interesting. Lots happening, folks. Uh, we'll continue it soon. Thanks for watching and take care.